Good morning, or I guess afternoon. Um, today's been good. I have gotten a couple callbacks, a couple opportunities. Um, so one is driving for a local company, uh, mostly delivering like rock, uh, but that's for a, a truck driving position. And then the other one is a title was um, field data collector. So basically running appointments from what I understand and basically doing surveys in pe people's homes. And if this is all to um, help this data company observe and kind of figure out um, the community's opinions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, those two have reached back out to me. It's been nice to hear a little bit of something that that comes back because I just feel like I haven't haven't really heard back much from anything uh, besides this position has been filled. So uh, it's nice to actually have somebody reach back out. So um, come to find out, and I just found this out yesterday, but when I when I had my Class A license. Um, I got it in 2018, I believe. And when it expired in 2023, I renewed it, right? So went into the DMV, did, did all the paperwork and everything to renew it. Well, all my endorsements switched over, but, or except for the air brakes. And so the air brakes didn't ever transfer over. So when I got my new license in the mail, it said that I can't drive air brake vehicles. And so I found this out when I showed up to a job interview and I was like looking through it. I was like, what? Like, this is insane. So I uh, showed up to the interview and I just told him, I was like, look, I don't know what this is about, like, but I passed my air brakes test. He w he even told me he was going to take me for a drive test, um, but obviously didn't want to because I wasn't, um, uh, authorized to drive an air brakes vehicle but anyway so i went to the dmv got all that straightened out they had made, made a mistake so i am able to um it was just a crazy experience but um today is grayson my son's birthday he's turning one um he's our youngest thank god right can you imagine uh I can't imagine having anybody younger than that, that close together. My two boys are pretty close in age, but um, <sighs> his birthday's today. So we have a birthday party tomorrow for him. Um, it'll be good, it'll be good. I have, so with the two companies that reached back out back to me, reached back out to me, um, the one guy, he's like, hey, let's do a drive test tomorrow. Um, cause he was like, you haven't been in a truck for like two years. And I was like, that's correct. <laughs> cause I haven't, I've been doing light, light life insurance, but I've, I've held on to my license since then, or since I've been doing insurance. Um, but I, so I do drive our, a bus for our church on the weekends and We'll go and pick up pee, pee people for church. It's a small little route that we do, but um, I don't necessarily have to have my class A for that because it's a class B um, qualification, just a bus um, with a passenger endorsement, but I do that. And so um, I still am driving with my class A um, oh, and apparently I was doing that all illegally because I wasn't supposed to be driving with air brakes. But the DMV met, messed up, so even if I had gotten pulled over, I'm sure it would have been fine. But, um, yeah, today started out kind of rough because I showed up to a couple places and they're just like, oh, no. I got offered a position for, like, an overnight um, driving is actually pretty good so it'd be like four days on three days off and it's like from Tuesday it was Tuesday morning to like um, 
it was Tuesday morning to Friday and um, Tuesday morning to Friday and it was like getting paid gross oh I mean I I, it, I stay in the vehicle truck overnight and it's me and another person and it's uh, so basically four days on three days off and I'll be grossing about 1600 a week um, seemed like a pretty good opportunity but I don't want to stay out I'd rather I'd rather work longer days and sleep at home even though I'm not spending a whole lot of time with my family because um, I'm working long days but ultimately I'm trying to figure out something that I can do and still do life insurance on the side um, because I know that life insurance is fruitful I just need to honestly track more so I can just become better at that I mean that's where it's at as long as I can as long as I can manage what I'm spending my money on track it all and figure out what is essential what's not essential and um, just continue to grow on that but it's been um, I mean I tell you this these last I mean it's honestly been a year a year of struggling not having consistency um, I'm still working on being more consistent with my schedule with and honestly with the schedule that's just discipline you know waking up at a certain time doing my morning my morning routines um, but that's really where I'm at as far as um, trying to just make sure I, I'm doing what I need need to be doing to be to better myself um, but yeah um, that's where I'm at today was good today was good saw a little bit of promising um, callbacks but I'm excited I'm just excited to start doing something um, and start having that guaranteed income that's coming in. So just showing up to work, doing what I know I need, need to do for that day, for that job, for that employer. Um, and then once I get off of that, go do my insurance. And then um, just keep chugging away at that because I know eventually I want to switch back over to the insurance full time. But when I do, I need to have processes and systems in place that I know when I'm going down and what I need to do to bring myself back up or just to continue to stay going up. Because I know I'm, it's going to come in waves. Everything does. Um, but I need to be way more organized when it comes back to me being full-time with insurance. Um, but as of right now, I mean, um, today was good. I just got home. From a couple places that I applied at, I have more places that I'm going to look at and apply to um, that I saw today. But um, honestly, my service was so terrible out there; I couldn't even check my emails. And I'm in town. Um, AT and T is terrible, so I came from Verizon and I got spoiled. So when I switched to AT and T, I thought, you know, it was, it's going to be good, but because they're a competitor with Verizon, but not even close. Not even close to the same experience. Um, I've had a terrible experience with AT&T. I would definitely not recommend it to anybody. But anyway, um, today was good. Today was good. So um, I'll do this again tomorrow. Kind of keep you in the loop, but... That's where I'm at. Have a good day.